Hello, my name is Sasha Struthers. I'm a landlord attorney here in Los Angeles, and today I'm doing a video on relocations, specifically having to do with substantial remodeling and how that is an alternative potentially to buying out a tenant outright. Before I get into the video, please like and subscribe, and then you can hit the bell icon and it'll notify you anytime I have a new video coming out, which I try to have them often enough. So to get into it, in Los Angeles, there are two ways to get a tenant out of a unit. Um, it's either through relocation or it's through a buyout. Third way being through an eviction, but we're not going to talk about that. So the relocation and a buyout are slightly different. A relocation is a required amount of money that you give a tenant if they, you know, if you're getting them out for one of the predetermined no fault just cause evictions. A buyout is when you don't have any reason and you just want them out. And that's negotiated between you and the tenant. So those tend to be a little bit higher because there's not a predetermined amount. For tenant buyouts, if you're in Los Angeles, depending on where you're at in Los Angeles, either city, county, or one of the other municipalities, they tend to have their own rules. And so with relocation, under the state no fault just cause, one of the relocation reasons is substantial remodeling. And substantial remodeling requires that you have permits in hand um, ready to go for this tenant and that the tenant is gonna be required to relocate for a minimum of 30 days. Now, some municipalities don't have that in their no fault just cause. Um, so it's either through government order, you're going to move in a family member, or you're going to demo the unit. Those are the other reasons you would relocate and pay relocation fees. Um, but in Los Angeles, county does not have it that I've seen. And they have a different relocation program or set of guidelines. And it requires that the tenant actually move back. However, in any one of them, a tenant can voluntarily agree to be permanently relocated. And under LA City, while it's not a no fault just cause to evict the tenant for a substantial remodel, the tenant at their own option can choose to be permanently relocated. If the THP, the Tenant Habitability Plan, which is a provision or a requirement of getting a permit in Los Angeles for a multifamily then they can opt for that and you can and the, the relocations you know predetermined by the city and then you could get them out potentially that way and you can advise the tenant hey this is your option you could be permanently relocated and likely in a situation like that they're going to want to be permanently relocated because i don't think people want to move and then have to move back it's very annoying and 30 days, as anyone in construction knows, is not necessarily always 30 days. Usually it's longer, especially if you're gonna be substantially rehabbing a unit. And substantially rehabbing is defined under the state rent control, but also each municipality either mirrors it or has their own slightly different version of what that is. But I found that if you're if you're trying to which Los Angeles like rent controlled buildings and rent control applies to multifamily but in Los Angeles the RSO it's you know buildings that are very old so it's more likely than not you're going to have to get permits and substantially remodel especially for tenants that have been there for a very long time so that's where i found very interesting because buyouts you have to disclose the relocation amount anyways, but buyouts tend to get pricey because the tenant is not required to relocate. But in this instance, there's a little more incentive for the tenant to take the relocation money and permanently relocate or take a little bit more money like in LA city and relocate permanently because they do one way or another. If you have the permits, they have to relocate. And LA City's relocation is a little bit better. LA County has a, a, a pretty intense relocation. So you want to you know, talk to an attorney like myself before you go down this 
this path and this little endeavor, but it is an alternative way and slightly cheaper than a voluntary buyout. Slightly cheaper in the money you pay the tenant, but not slightly cheaper in the sense that you do have to go pull permits. And that's the requirement, that's the caveat, is you have to have the permits, which is actually more common than not anyways. So I thought that was very interesting. I, I thought that would be very helpful for landlords to know. I do buyouts and I do them on a flat fee. It just makes it easier for the landlord and cheaper. And I have videos on that, I think. Maybe I'll do another video on that. But that there's ways around. Right now, when I'm doing this video, it's COVID-19, so you can't do anything like that. But it's March and the moratoriums are set to expire in June. So if you're planning on substantially rehabbing a unit, you're gonna need some lead time to get the permits anyways. So that's something you should really consider. Um, if you have any questions about that, feel free to call me. I give free consultations. And yeah, I think that could be good. I think that could be good for a lot of landlords. And, de and again, it depends. Like the small municipalities are actually more favorable. But yes, sorry, there you go. Um, good luck and thank you.